Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your September 4th through the 10th weekly this is love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. Um, this is for the week of September 4th through September 10th, 2017. Usually they tend to be for singles. Sometimes it, uh, couples come up there. We'll see what happens. This may or may not resonate considering there's hundreds and thousands of people who watch these videos. So, you know, I can't say that I can read every single person. I did pre-shuffle these three times before I turned the camera on. I think you've won a lot of battles. Um, I think you're feeling a little bit of heartbreak this week for some reason. Uh, maybe you've been lied to and you've realized you've been lied to about something. It might be, have something to do with a job, but this is a love reading, so I think... You know, I feel like maybe you've been lied to and it's causing some hurt, but you're still persevering. Perhaps you've decided to hide for a little while just to get out of this, get out of the limelight and consider what happened. There's definitely some stress. Maybe there was a third party situation. Huh. Maybe somebody is leaving or has left or you want to leave because of some heartache. Um... There is something has is going to happen that is going to shake up everything. Okay, there was a false foundation somewhere and it is about to come down. It might cause somebody to walk away and it might cause some heartache. This is the week of September 4th through September 10th. Could have been a third party situation you didn't know about. Maybe you're interested in somebody who already has somebody. Maybe you knew about it. Maybe you didn't. Okay. Um, maybe... I think there's been some lies. There could definitely been some cheating as well. And it seems like you uh, have really learned a lot. So I think that you know what is going on. It's like something, you. it's almost like you expected this. And you were like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. And I feel like you are ready for this. Whatever this is, it feels like you have been through a lot throughout your life that you already expected this to happen in some way and you're ready for it okay your your awareness is high and I, I think that you have prepared yourself for whatever this false foundation is This is about action, okay? Acting on your hunches, moving forward, doing something, not being, not just sitting there and waiting for something to happen, happen to happen. I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk too fast. Okay, so this false foundation is going to break and it's going to cause you to take action. But it's perfect. It really is. It's a blessing in disguise because it it helps your wishes to be fulfilled in the long run okay there's definitely some healing here with these two cards right next to each other whatever this is i think that it is going to force you into a period of healing all right i think there's been some overindulgences of some sort this is a love reading There's a lot of excitement, okay? There's a lot of excitement, but there's a lot of despair, okay? I think there was some kind of lies that came through that have that you have become aware of that is causing some despair, you know? And I think you may have decided to step within for a little while to contemplate on this hurt, you know, so that you can heal. Um, I, I think this is something you're expect, you expected and that you were mentally prepared for. Um, I think that somebody could be going away. Mm -hmm. 
there's some kind of overindulgence connected to this despair and this lies and cheating and this person who is very fiery. Okay, this is a very fiery energy, action-oriented, impulsive. So maybe there was somebody who acted impulsively. Okay, I'm not sure if it's you or not, but there's some impulsive behavior here. Um... Let's get some more cards. You know, with the temperance card, it also means that everything happens for a reason. So whatever this is, you have to remember that everything happens for a reason. There's a purpose for everything. I think that your awareness is high. All right, so whatever's going on up there, it's probably the truth. I think that you have become very spiritual. This is for not for everybody, but for quite a bit of you, I think there's a, definitely a spiritual awareness here. That's why you've been prepared for this, because you knew something was coming. And I, I think it might have to do with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but they ha we have an exciting new adventure here. So where that comes from, I do not know. Maybe somebody acted impulsively with another person. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. So and this is intended to be a love, a love reading. Um, we also have Aquarius here. We have Gemini here. We have Virgo. You know, if, if you're single and you're not coupled, then you need to get out and go out with your friends, okay? Because could, you can meet somebody out with your friends or through one of your friends. Um, maybe you need to go out and you need to overindulge if you're not with somebody. You need to go out and, and let down and, and I think, you know, like get drunk or something because that leads out ultimate, and you know, there's so many different opinions, so whatever, but, you know, you need... To heal whatever you've been through and your friends can help you with that so I, I definitely see that some of you need to get out with your friends and um, work on healing yourself put yourself out there you know and, and just be confident be confident dare dare yourself to do something exciting okay to get over some heartbreak and to get over some depression that you might be going through this week all right, and maybe this King of Wands is here because it's time for you to take action. It's time for you to get moving. Maybe you just have been sitting around waiting for something to happen and you haven't been excited about finding love. And maybe that's where your friends come in. Okay. So there's, there's different stories for everybody. This is the after tarot. So these are the afterthoughts. Um... Oh, that broken heart gets healed. Imagine that. You know, and you might find somebody if you put yourself out there and don't stay hidden. Maybe this false foundation was in the past and that's what's broken up and you've been in hiding for a while and now it's time to get out there. You know, it's time to do something fun and exciting. You know, this is a very sexual energy. Maybe you're, you are, you know, deprived. You know, and you're feeling like you need to get out there. You need to take action. You're looking for a soulmate here now, aren't you? So if you are, you need to get out there and you need to make yourself available. You can't just hide. Okay? So a change is needed. That's for darn sure. If you've been feeling depressed just because, you know, it feels whatever. You've been lied to in the past, you know, and you've added that to your... To your book of uh, whatever, heartache, shame, uh, lessons, whatever. You've added it to that book and you're just hovering there. Then fuck that. Excuse my language. It's time for a change. You can't just hide there forever. If, if you don't get out there, then this, where the hell is your soulmate? How do they know you're even available? So you definitely, it is a time of change, okay? If you've been burying yourself in work or whatnot to... To hide or staying right at home or whatever and thinking that the love of your life is just going to knock on your door, then that's not going to happen. You have to get out there. You have to go out. 
All right, that's what I seen. I don't know where this message is coming from, but they come from within. All right, and then, you know, this is healing. You definitely have been working on healing, and I think it's from some previous deceit. And I think that once you get out there and you start to make yourself available and you start to feel good again, and you let your friends help you, your heartaches really, really starts to heal. The swords are no longer in your heart. They're really out. You've taken some big steps in the right direction. Okay? You've reached a destination. Once you have stepped outside of your shell, you've, you've taken another step in the right direction. Okay? Now we're going to get a couple. Oh, we need one more. I almost forgot. Can you believe that shit? Number one. Watching out for number one. Okay, so we have a lot of signs here now, which I forgot to tell you. We have fire signs. You know, there's a good chance that you have a fire sign in your life now or coming in because we have a lot. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This right here is an air sign. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Aquarius again. Okay, but this is somebody who looks out for number one, puts themselves first. All right, doesn't consider the consequences. Acts, in, and with this one right next to it, acts impulsively. Okay, goes for what they want because if they don't, who's going to? This person acts, act, takes care of number one. All right, they go for what they want, and that's the way it is. They're not hiding, that's for damn sure. It's a fast moving energy, too. And this is pretty quick as well. So I'm thinking that once you put yourself out there, things are going to happen fast for you in love. So this week is about putting yourself out there, making yourself more available. I don't even know if I shuffled these. I think, I think somebody could, could be coming really quick, really quick if you're single. Once you put yourself out there, look at that one came flying right out. You see it? I don't know if you can. Ooh, keep an open mind. Playfulness, as my dog is flipping out behind me, playing. Anyhow, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. She is freaking. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. They're, they're not your type. So keep an open mind. Okay? This Whoever this person is, is not what you think. Alright? They're not what you think. They're not your usual type. They don't look like your usual type. They don't act like your usual type. They're not your usual type. That's interesting, isn't it? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. You have to bring that back. That's part of the healing process. Okay, because when your heart gets broke because somebody lied to you, they could have cheated on you or they deceived you and your heart gets broke, you, you, lo you lose this playfulness. Okay. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of sun, this fun to shine. Where is that inner youthful spirit of fun? Where, I think you can find that about when you were 18. Go back and remember that. Okay? That's where it is. So when you go out with your friends... Incorporate playfulness into your fun and see what happens. Just try it. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Don't even say for a minute, I don't have the money. I can't go out. I can't. Bullshit. If that's the case, then you're stuck. You're stuck. Then you're not ready. Then you're not willing to go find love. That's an excuse.
I guarantee you, if you call your two best friends and say, you know, I really need to go out, and they go out, and you know, we, but I don't have a lot of money, they'll say, oh, I got money. You know, because they want to go have fun with you. They know who you are. They want you to be happy. But I think that you can afford it anyway. All you need to do is buy yourself one drink just to get out there. You don't even need to really, get, you don't need to get drunk. I mean, you can. I would. But. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Children, this, this is a big deal. Your love life is being affected by children. Perhaps you think you can't go out because you got children. And, you know, they won't. My children, I can't do this to my children. You know, and I totally feel you. I'm there. I'm there. But this guy thinks about number one. He has, if mama or daddy, but mostly mama, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. And that is the truth. So that is kind of an excuse. I'd say it's an excuse. I don't like to hear it because, you know, that's an excuse for me as well. But we won't talk about that right now. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That is a good one. It's safe for you to love. Perhaps this person will get along with your children. So, Taurus, this is what I have for you for the September 4th through September 10th as a love reading. I think you need to get out there and do something about it. Put yourself out there. All right? That's what I see. I think this is mostly for singles. I think it is for singles. Um, yeah, that's what I think. All right. Sorry I didn't uh, turn that sooner. I am terrible about that. I should have zoomed it in too.